good morning from the Country Gamer, and today is another Whip Wednesday. The 5th of... what month are we in? June. For 2019. So, let's flip this around. What did we get done? Well, let's start with the easy stuff. I finished basing my son's Dark Elves. Okay, so what did I get started or finished? Well, I did finish the basing of my son's Dark Elves. We actually were supposed to get a game in, but I screwed up and left them here. But that's not here or there. Okay. I also finished the... Come on. There we go. His, um... Beastmaster for his Mordheim. I really like how she turned out. The purple hair mm, is okay. And then his Cold One Hounds. Real quick. I had a bunch of these laying around. Um, they're 3D printing, printed. Um, used it as a demonstration for my students. So the original color is this red. And I just sprayed them with some fluorescent green spray paint. We'll be using them as weird stone markers for our Mordheim campaign. Um, finally, the other thing I got finished we've got Frank James. His brother Jesse James. Really like how they came out. Um, my wife was a little thinking I was a little crazy when I showed her my inspiration. It was an old cartoon called Brave Star, um, character called Tex Hex. Though instead of the more fluorescent greens, come on, right now, um, I used a darker green and browns and such little bit of purple on the mask to represent the purple face of the guy. Okay. My supplies for these guys were, however you say that, Hasnut Copper from Citadel, uh, Blade Steel, Flow Improver, Pure Black, Leather Brown, Undead Flesh, Shadowed Green, Misty Gray, Elf Flesh, Imperial Purple, Magic in a Bottle, also known as Agrax Earthshade. Love that stuff. Not sure if I actually used any of my dandelion. It's what I normally do my bases in. Um, but I think I did all my bases this time in Territorial Beige from Apple Barrel. Um, so next, my next projects. I got a few going on. I'll be painting up these wolves. Um... The soap wash did something a little weird to them. I might put them in for a little bit longer, see what's going on. Okay. They're from Ramshackle Games. The legs are from Mad Robot, as are the torsos. Let's flip the torsos over.
Arms and weapons are mostly from Mad Robot. Um, shoulder pads are from Mad Robot as well. And they're going to be a unit of Rough Riders when all said and done. I will also be painting up. Let's do that a different way. A Reaper miniature. Can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she's going to be part of my Mordheim War Band, um, Outlaws of Sherwood, or whatever they're called. Okay. She's going to be a petty thief. And finally, if time permits, I picked up a National Militarium Sentinel. Um, I forgot to point out the heads. Um, right now I only have two heads. I need to go and get some more. But one is a Citadel. Most of them will be Citadels, actually. Just a Cadian head. Um, I also have this one that I from Victorian Miniatures. So that will be my next project, a group of Rough Riders for my guard, a figure for my Mordheim, and a Scout Sentinel. That will get me up to an Outrider unit. Happy gaming, everyone.